Matan. Uh, I thank the gentleman. I, I, I don't know where anybody said we don't have authority. Uh, I did say that the only proposal was proposed by the private sector, and it was rejected by the administration, and the TSA said it would be impossible to enforce. Um, so uh, with that, uh, are there others who wish to be heard? Mr. Chairman, uh, oh. Congresswoman Mace, I moved to sh strike the last word. Mm -hmm. Congresswoman Mace. Who is it? No, are there any Democrats who wish to continue this extraneous debate on speculation? We're not asking you to. Okay, thank you. Uh, Representative Mace is recognized for five minutes. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm someone, I'm a Republican who had COVID last summer a year ago, and I had a setback this summer. I'm a long hauler. I'm also vaccinated. I still suffer over a year later from symptoms from COVID-19 that I had 14 months ago. Uh, I wear a mask when I'm indoors. I'm encouraging everyone to get vaccinated, to wear a mask. But I've seen firsthand with the mandates from the administration, the they tournament? told us months, months ago that we wouldn't be mandated to have vaccinations. Now we are. I've listened to both sides, whether that was during the, the presidential campaign last year in 2020, or whether that's through the vaccination rollout today, both sides have contributed to the vaccine hesitancy that our country is seeing today. And if we continue to have this argument, we continue to point fingers against a pandemic that is not just in the United States, is it across the entire world? We are not the only ones dealing with it. But if we want people to do the right thing, we want parents to put their kids in masks at schools, if we want people to get vaccinated, we have got to stop attacking one another. We have to truly look at the science. And I'm not an epidemiologist, and I don't think anybody on here is today, but we can't have, have uh, unions dictating to the CDC, which we've seen happen. We've got to have a conversation about natural immunity. We've got to have a conversation about the, the efficacy of masks. Dr. Fauci in March of last year told us masks didn't work. So when he told us that they do, and now studies are coming out, the N95 mask is effective 50% of the time when you wear it. And the cloth masks are effective 10% of the time. But if we don't have an honest conversation about these issues and we continue to polarize, uh, everyone across the country, if you continue to politicize the serious nature of COVID-19, I don't care who you are, but we're doing a disservice to the American people. And quite frankly, it has got to stop. And I'm sitting here watching this, this charade today, pointing fingers against people who want to have an honest conversation, want to talk about natural immunity. No one's taking that into consideration, as my colleague from Kentucky just noted earlier. And yet he's getting you know, attacked for that. And, and that shouldn't be the case. We've got to do better than that for the American people. And I'm sick and tired of it. And now we're going to have this charade today on TNI. We're not a single Republican amendment that's been thought through and thoughtful is even going to pass. But I want people to get vaccinated. I want them to wear a mask. I want to put an end to COVID. And the only, only way we can do that, if we stop attacking one, one another, whether that's in committee or on social media, and I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank the gentlelady for her very... Uh rational and impassioned uh, statement and uh, her own personal experience. So uh, we uh, have uh, now Mr. Jimenez. Uh, 